Eugene Parada is a Vietnam veteran who earned a purple heart after taking shrapnel in his knees. Those healed, eventually they do heal. The invisible wounds, the PTSD, it really never heals 100%, but you actually have to walk on, live a normal life. Parada and his nephew own a flooring business, and under a bill being considered by the legislature, their small business could gain an advantage when it comes to awarding state contracts. The federal government already has it set aside, and over 40 other states have matched that federal set aside. That's all we're looking to do is to allow these service disabled veterans, real heroes that have been, been hurt and uh, have returned home, that we give them meaningful employment. Under the bill, 5% of state contracts would be set aside for small businesses owned by disabled veterans. A million veterans in New York State, 73,000 disabled veterans in New York State. The New York State unemployment among disabled veterans is almost 80 percent. This is not the first time this issue has come up in New York State. Governor Patterson vetoed a similar bill in 2010. Some Democrats were concerned that set-asides for veterans would interfere with set-asides for women and minority-owned businesses. I do have addressed those concerns. I don't believe there's any impact on that. Uh, this is just a disabled vet. Uh, we are not taking away from anybody. Uh, you know, we have uh, disabled vets who are minority as well. Governor Cuomo not only supports the current bill, he called for its passage in his State of the State address. Disabled veterans showed us their loyalty. We must show them our loyalty. Next week, Governor Cuomo will deliver his budget address where he will outline how he intends to fund his initiatives. Unlike the Veterans Bill, most of the governor's priorities this year do not require legislative approval. In Albany, Zach Fink, New York One.